Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Pervy. I know I haven't done a video with commentary in quite a while. I think it was the last one that I did a C9 video with John. Um, but, uh, hey, gotta take a break sometime, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, so I got a lot of news for you guys today. It's been a while since I did a vlog video. I think I only did one. That was a while ago, so... Yeah, anyway, obviously I got a PC upgrade. I'm running Battlefield Ultra right now, single player. I got some multiplayer uh, footage cut into here as well, I believe. Um, so you guys will be seeing that in a few. But uh, So yeah, just enjoy the gameplay. And I got updates for you, both on my personal life and updates for the channel. How things stand right now, how they're going to be in the future. I got plans. I got mad plans, guys. For those of you who care, for those of you who have been following, you know, this old guy whenever he posts something every now and then, this video is for you. So, right now, again, I got a PC upgrade, so that means I will be able to provide, I will be able to record much better quality content whenever I make a video. Uh, those of you who caught my last C9 video, obviously that looked way better than my usual shit. I mean, usually you see not even max graphics on C9, and C9 is not the most demanding game around. So that's a great thing. I can record 60 FPS, no lag. So <clears throat> those of you who have actually listened to my commentary on my older videos, you know that it's always been something that I've been stressing. Whenever I record, I lag. Whenever I lag, I can't play as good as I normally would. So with my new PC upgrades, you won't have that issue anymore. I won't have that any issue anymore. So, better content, better quality, better videos. Um, that being said, I do have that issue out of the way, but there is still the biggest issue that I'm facing right now, and that's internet connection. In my last vlog, I stated that I'm going to be looking toward getting a better internet connection. And I would be able to get a better inter internet connection if there was a decent ISP available to me. The only one I have is Verizon, and those of you who live in America would know, Verizon isn't the best company in the world, and they try to overcharge you for, pri for you know, crappy services, really. <clears throat> they want to charge me $50 for 10 megabits download, if that. So, I mean, I, I really don't want to waste my money on it. I'm still thinking about it. <sighs> I mean, the, the, the worst thing about it is that it's DSL, so if anyone gets on that line, on that dedicated line, my I'm not even going to be getting 10 Mbps, most likely. I'm going to be getting less than that. My ping is going to be high as balls in games. It's just not going to be pretty. So, I don't know if I want to be spending $50 and basically playing into their hands for that. I'll have to see about it. So, I mean, that's my only choice. There's no other ISP available to me here. Um, and until I move, which won't be for another year or so, that will be a constant thing. So, that's where I stand now. Um, on the bright side, though, I have upcoming plans for the channel. I plan to be playing as much as I can, playing all kinds of games, single-player games, multiplayer, in, in the cases where I can, of course, considering the restraints. Um, and I'll be recording pretty much every second of it and uploading it for you guys to see with commentary or without whichever you guys prefer you just let me know in the comment section and uh one of those games that i have upcoming is the witcher 3 it just came out yesterday of course and i have it been waiting for it been waiting to play it pretty excited i actually got in game and surprisingly enough i can't even run the game on max settings i mean i can but I'm not getting a constant 60 FPS. I'm getting like 45, 50, and sometimes it drops to 30-ish. So I'm running it on high, pretty much constant 60 there. Um, but even, you know, even then, still have dips. But anyway, so the point is, I can make Witcher 3 videos if you guys want to see that. I probably will do it anyway, just for fun. Um, but let me know if you guys want to see Witcher 3, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I will have that on the way for you guys. Um, so a playthrough. Um, thing is though, if I were to do a playthrough, I think I'm going to call it Pervy Plays. I'm not sure yet. If you guys think, can think of a better name, let me know. But um, if I were to do those, I would have to make 
so many videos just to get them up like i i can't make long videos anymore because remember back in the day when my account got terminated by youtube yeah that put a strike on my account and now i can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes so you'd be watching one 15 minute video after another and i'll probably be doing hour long sessions so you'd have i'd have a lot of videos in one series but I had an idea. I made a second channel called Pervy Plays, and what I was thinking is I could upload all the longer videos that I can't upload on my main channel on that channel, or I could just make the entire channel a dedicated Let's Play channel, or something. But then I don't know how to manage two channels, considering I'm just starting this. I don't know if it would be a good idea, but... I don't know, I'm still thinking about all that, but regardless, while I'm on the topic, I actually uploaded one video on there already, it's a uh, Witcher 3 soundtrack video for those of you who are into video game soundtracks like I am, or you just like The Witcher 3, you can go check that out if you want. Um, leave a like while you're there if you go, but yeah. So as far as making it a dedicated channel or making that a regular thing, I'm still not sure about that because, I mean, the strike's not permanent, it's temporary, it's gonna go away eventually. Actually, I think I only have like two more months left of it. So after that's gone, I don't even know if there's a point in having that dedicated channel. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on. So also, since I have a great computer now, I'm also going to be putting a lot more effort into making my videos, you know, before I just half-ass it and just do whatever and then throw it out there and there you go, you know, but... <laughs> Uh, now I'm actually gonna put some effort into this whole thing. Uh, I got a friend who's actually pretty good with Photoshop, unlike me. I'm not very artistic or creative in my opinion, um, but he is. So because of him, my videos are gonna be much more aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing. How, however you say, aesthet aesthetically, is it aesthetic? You, you get the idea. Point is, it's gonna look all extra purdy. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Please tell me you guys heard about the new fighter class coming to C9. This whole, like, I don't know, past year and a half, we've been hoping for a new fighter class, begging, pleading, waiting for a new fighter class, and they've been messing with us over and over. And at one point, I think they, I think there were rumors that a new one was coming, and instead we got the Mystic. <laughs> Crazy. It's absolutely insane. But... We were begging them to give us a new fighter, and when they do, they pull they pull out this. The, I, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm interested in the new ice fighter thing, but I'm expecting, based on the looks of it, I didn't I didn't read the entire post Webzen made, but um, it looks like it's gonna be a lot like Warrior, um, but it's gonna be dual wieldish, kind of like Blade Dancer, I'm assuming. So the speed, the attack speed, could possibly be like Blade Dancer and the move speed like Warrior. Uh, and then the mechanics will probably be a lot more different. Um, I don't know, but one thing I'm actually afraid of with the new fighter is that since it's a freeze class, freezing is combo resetting in mid-combo, basically. So basically, if you can mark your enemy, get them in a combo, and if that guarantees a freeze somehow, you could probably combo reset multiple times in your combo. That is scary OP, and you guys know how OP Slayer and the new Warrior are because they can combo reset the way they do. So with that, that is something to be afraid of. And with <laughs> the people who made Seismic Bash even more OP than it was before, um... I don't think it's above them to, or I don't think it's below them or whatever to do something like that. Actually, I take it back. I don't, I don't think the old Seismic Bash was OP. It was the whole Lion's Roar into Seismic Bash with lag thing that was OP. Not Seismic Bash itself, even though it had really high damage. So, I take that back, but... You get the point, though. They, they, they would definitely screw something up, making a new class. Definitely. While I'm on the topic of C9, though, um, 
Huh, will I try and play this new class? Probably at some point. If it if it does come out anytime soon, I'll probably try and get a class change and change a different character, find someone's account or whatever, and try it out. Does that mean I will be returning to C9? Probably not actively like I used to be, but I might start playing more often and making videos more often. And actually, I have some videos that are coming out within the next week or... Well, actually, since the weekend's coming up, it should be soon. It's uh, me versus the best Blade Master from the EU server, the one I featured on this channel not that long ago, named Sleeks. It's debatable. Well, actually, no, I don't even think it's debatable. I think it's pretty much official. She is and has been the best Blade Master from the EU server that they have ever had, period. Like, I don't think they've ever had one better than her. She's that good. Um, but yeah, I have videos of me versus her in laggy and not so laggy conditions. Um, and the great thing is I recorded six or seven of the fights and she recorded them as well. And she recorded all of them. I didn't get all of them. Um, I recorded them off and on. I, I wasn't even really planning to upload them, <clears throat> but um, I recorded some of them and she recorded all of them. So you can actually compare and see how things were from my point of view and her point of view so that you can compare, see how the lag looked, see how things, uh, how the game mechanics look, work and everything. So you can do that and uh, I will be putting a link to her channel in the description and you can subscribe to her and watch her video whenever it comes out. So big plans, um, I think that's mostly it actually, I mean I got tons of other games that I'm going to be uploading. Warframe, Skyrim, um, Shadow of Mordor, <sighs> a lot of multiplayer stuff. Blacklight Retribution. I actually really like that FPS game. I don't know if you guys like FPS games. I love them. Um, but I'm going to be uploading that stuff as well. Um, so stay tuned. And uh, I, think I, I think I pretty much covered everything. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the gameplay now. Peace.